Hello everyone, today we will talk about Czech Republic. Czech Republic located in Central Europe. This country is bordered by Poland, Slovakia, Austria and Germany. The main language is Czech and you still can hear Russian and Polish and Ukrainian or Vietnamese. And of course Czechs have a good command of English. So let's get straight to the point. We will talk about immigration to Czech Republic. Today we're gonna cover the easiest way to get there and in other videos we will talk about other programs or other ways to go to Czech Republic. So the first and foremost the program's name is Zivno and it has other names like freelancer or trade license or even self-employed. I will leave a link in the description box down below or in the comment section which talks about this visa and the steps and how to apply for it. And the validity of this visa is one year and you can renew it for another 24 months and the great thing that after staying in Czech Republic for three years you can apply for permanent resident and you can enjoy moving freely within the European Union and it's gonna be easier to apply for a visa to Canada for example or the States or Australia and on top of that no age limit no language required or any job offer or any kind of investments and there is no specific type of business that you have to invest in which is a great thing all what you have to do to follow the steps that i'm gonna go through right now so the first and second step should be done through the embassy so what you can do you have to contact the embassy by email or call them and ask them for zivno application and the second thing that you should ask them for trade license they're gonna send you a link to register for that it's for foreigners who don't have visa yet and it's not going to be activated until you get your visa once you get your visa it will be activated so what i'm going to do as well i'm going to leave in the description box down below a link for czech republic embassies around the world so you can find your embassy where you live or where you reside remember you have to call them or send in an email and ask them about the application form and trade license link moving to number three which is your passport and should be valid for six months and then number four two photos number five a criminal record from your home country or where you live and number five health insurance you don't have to worry i'm gonna leave in the description box down below a company where you can sign up for travel insurance number six you need to make a reservation covering your stay in czech republic which is supposed to be for 12 months i know it's not logical but you still can do it the other way you can make a reservation on Airbnb and I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below or on booking.com or maybe you can just talk to the host tell them hey I'm going to stay there for a couple days if I liked it I'm going to extend and you can just explain that to the embassy in your explanation letter tell them hey I don't know anything about Czech Republic I'm just going to stay there for a couple days or for a short period with my family or alone if you apply the loan and then if I liked it I'm going to extend I'm going to find a better place for me or for my family. Now moving to the most important part, which is proof of funds. Why do you need that? They want to know how you're going to set up your business. If you have a business online and you want to have a branch there or if you want to set up totally a new business in Czech Republic. So proof of funds, it's going to show them that you're serious about your business and you're serious about applying this visa and settling down in Czech Republic. And what's required only 5,100 euros, which is not crazy comparing to other immigration programs in other countries. All what you have to do, open a personal bank account or a business account if you don't have one or a joint one with your dad or with your mom or with your spouse or even with your partner. And remember, you don't have to spend anything from that amount. All what you have to do to show it to the embassy and it shows that you have strong ties and you're serious about your, you know, decision to settle down in Czech Republic and that's going to give you a very high rate of approval. And the last thing that you should submit is a business plan, which is a crucial thing. So what you have to do, you have your name on top and then the date and then start talking about your business. How you're going to set up your business in Czech Republic, how you're going to relocate, how you're going to start operating your business, how you're going to start hiring locals. For example, if you have a business in Dubai and you have a business license, you just take a copy of that and tell them I'm trying to have a branch in Czech Republic just for example or maybe you have business in India as well and I'm gonna make it easier for you there's a website where you can hire someone to do something like a business plan or any other business services just make sure they have good reviews hire them and then they're gonna make it for you hopefully today you guys enjoyed my video and the content that I provided sometimes it takes time to reply your messages or your emails I'm really sorry about that because I'm receiving messages and emails from all over the world and I'm doing my best to support each one of you Reaching the last part of the video, if you have any comments, leave it in a comment section down below 
or feel free to send us an email. Thank you so much and have a good one.